Hi, I'm Greg Robinson and this is MyPhotographyShow.com. I'm here now to critique this image. This image came from Miroslav, who named it Bouncing the Ball. He made it out of three separate images, one for the shadow, one chosen for optimal ball position, and one for removing the live person, me. Well done on that, Miroslav. Uh, nothing special in post-processing, except the complex masking, of course. Contrast enhancement via curves layer to deepen the shadows and selective colors layer, so red, yellow, cyans, blues and blacks, to make the, colors tile, the color tiles pop and shadows even deeper. Can you tell me if this image is better landscape, as shot originally, or portrait, in my opinion, more puzzling? I agree with that, Miroslav. <laughs> so we're going to critique this image in two different parts. First off, we're going to talk about your composition. And secondly, the way you master your layers and the way you've placed the different subjects and elements in the frame, okay? So, let's get right to it. Um, as you can see here, Miroslav choose ISO 200 for a shutter speed of uh, 1 slash 250 seconds, so 1 250th of a second, at f22, so I imagine you wanted the deepest uh, depth of field possible, which was a good choice. It seemed like you, were, you had a lot of sun, uh, and that was great. So, what can I say about this image? First off, do I prefer, to answer your question, do I prefer it horizontal or vertical? So landscape or portrait? I'm gonna try, I'm gonna turn it around and see what happens um, when I do it, let's do it counterclockwise. As, yeah. Let's say it's a little less puzzling, as you said. Uh, vertical image made it much more puzzling. The only trouble I'm having, as you said, it was the optimal ball position. I don't quite agree with you on that one, Miroslav. Uh, what I would have done is maybe place the ball slightly higher. So let me just try and do something here. I'm not sure what's going to happen. Um, how can I do this? Let me try it this way. So try and actually, no, let's do it another way. Watch this, this could be interesting. Uh, unfortunately, we will not have the same pattern here. It'll just be uh, kind of pulled. I'll just grab that, so layer the copy, and then turn it around, and create this kind of thing, just so that we get an idea, okay? This is what you should have done whilst composing your image before shooting. And at the top there, I'd like to place some black just like that. That way this ball here uh, would have looked better. Let me just grab it quickly. There. Let's do a cut. And that ball would have looked better probably up here. See what I mean? That way we've got a little more space and more importantly we we can detail well, we can, we can analyze the details and the elements in your image. That's what I find uh, more interesting here. Uh, we've got your flip-flops here, which show that you weren't uh, in them, which is quite interesting. I would have chosen, well, or proposed at least, to move these around here somewhere. That would have been a little more interesting. Basically, use this entire uh, tile section as a texture background, texture and pattern, okay? That would have been great. On that, so fill the entire frame with that and then use your shadow with the effect you used on your flip-flops and the ball. Uh, I understand that you wanted the ball to be on the black portion of the frame, which is still interesting, but uh, the thing is it's grabbing all the attention because it's red, it's a very live red color, so it's grabbing all the attention and um, your shadow is interesting here, but I would have propose to move it slightly to the to the left here and move your flip-flops a bit further in so that we uh, the viewer can straight away understand what he's looking at and see it straight away okay get an impact a little more interesting in there um, secondly what I wanted to say was concerning your colors and contrasts I find them pretty good although I find the tiles a little too distracting I would have brought the contrast a little further down on that not so accentuated in order to not distract the viewer once again. Your main subjects, and you already have two of them, are the ball and the silhouette with the flip-flops. So that's kind of two and a half, even three. Um, if you add with that a very busy background, that's four elements that the viewer has to understand, it's too complicated, okay? Uh, it does become a very confusing image, very puzzling, very quickly. So I would have suggested simplifying a bit, as for the question, landscape or portrait, I'd go for landscape because it already is pretty puzzling as it is. Uh, so stay, stick to landscape. And there we go. That's about it. 
So I hope you enjoyed this critique. Thanks again, Miroslav, for sending your, in, sending your image in. Uh, all you other viewers, don't hesitate to send your image. It's completely free. I will be more than happy that, to critique your images. Um, check us out on Facebook, at My Photography Show. On Twitter, follow us on that too, because we've got different things going on in the different social media. And come to our website, myphotographyshow.com, to send your images for free or ask your photo questions. I'm here to answer everything, okay? This is Greg Robinson for myphotographyshow.com saying, you keep having fun shooting. <laughs>